Today, Nigerians know the problems, but are we part of the solution? Let's talk about solving Nigeria's myriad of problems. I'm just a journalist. I ask questions. You give us the answers. What's the solution to Nigeria's insecurity issues? Another presidential press release? Or the resignation of the president as he advised his predecessor? Who will pay back the money from the pensions fund if borrowed as opined by the governor's firm led by Governor Fayemi of Ikiti State? This government, next government, or never? The northern leaders who tag the answers and attempt to change the Buhari regime, why are they now asking the president to resign? They want to remove him themselves and not the youth? Does Nigeria need a messiah or a working system that outlives the politicians as they come and go? I'll give you a typical example. Lagos grew in infrastructure, greenery, and cleanliness under Governor Fashola. People voted his successor, Governor Ambody, for continuity. But we saw Lagos roll back in safety and cleanliness to the extent we had pigs eating from waste on our roads. If we had a working system, development would be continuous, regardless of the politician in place. We can't play ping pong with policies every four years and expect any real development in Nigeria. Are Nigerians the solutions to Nigeria's problems? Or should we keep waiting for the Messiah? If we aren't waiting for a Messiah, why aren't we calling for electoral reforms now? Well, we started talking about electoral reforms. Or are we waiting for 2023 to do everything that we want changed? In Nigeria. If we have the solutions to Nigeria's problems, why aren't we all calling for restructuring now? Where states are in charge of their resources and we stop holding the president accountable for what happens in 774 local governments across the country? Or even this bandmate of our National Assembly? Since they can't invite the president to ask him about insecurity issues across the country, National Assembly. The budget for the National Assembly should maybe be used to fix our roads. Do you agree? Are you the solution to Nigeria's problem? Are you the solution to Nigeria's problems? I'm just asking. Um, the question you asked was the same question we asked you. And then you say you are doing something <laughs> in the pipeline. And you know when something is uh, blah, you know when something is done in the pipeline, yeah. Oh, this Nigeria. Yeah. It never gets to see the light of the day. But it brings me back to Chuka's advocacy. For us, everything you listed, beautiful, fantastic, but without the right virtues. Mm. If you like restructure, you are going to have smaller teeth. Smaller Nigeria. Replaced the bigger teeths. If you like you know, um, remove the National Assembly, you are going to have big State dictatorship, assemblies. you know? So what we need, we, that's why people say we need a reorientation. We need that, those compassion, love, mm -hmm. you know, peace of mind. So when you are able to share those, instill them, be the school that, you know, others will attend, you know, let people judge you and say, look, this man, you know, is compassionate. If we are all compassionate, I wouldn't want to steal from you. True. I wouldn't want to take that which belongs to the community. True. So I think we need to also start from, you know, the But to ask a question which you didn't answer, that when did we lose those values? Yeah, quickly, you find out that um, it is the same thing. My uncle, my father, worked in the ministry and had to queue up almost to the point of death to collect pension. Mm. Some of the ones that Mena has collected are his fenty. <laughs> and, so, that, uh... and so he now said, and then you find out that people who were working under him, who were still in service, saw them queuing up almost at the point of death. And they're like, we won't have want to go through the True. same thing. We'll no. steal our own. We'll collect our pension while we are, here. While we are here. Yeah. So gradually. And then those people who, who, who worked for the name, we saw how there was no more money, and since there was no more money, nobody celebrated them. And then everybody started celebrating those that came with money. And so gradually, 
you know, generations were coming after that, and the only thing they met was, was what was on, what was on was let, let me quickly Obviously. ride on the back of that. One of the, um, you see, in Germany, we know that nothing of of inferior quality comes out from Germany. It's a national virtue, excellence. Mm. If you told a German that this is not okay, you'd be embarrassed. You go back and fix it and do it excellently well. The question is, what is the Nigerian national virtue? Mm. Quality assurance. Making money. <laughs> There's no quality assurance anymore. No, that's what I'm saying. In and, Germany. And in but in here, Germany, right? Our national we do not virtue have. is politics. <laughs> Fish guy politics. That's it's, why I said it's, it's, it's not government, defined, government that's the of it's politics. Not there is, we don't have a common interest. There is no nothing tying us all together. Because and that, we and that don't is a have a problem. Nigerian culture. We have on, Nigerian on cultures. Let we me, are different people. It, there are also parts of the world where there are different people. In fact, Chuka, within the same state of, to of, your advocacy of, title of, of, of Texas. If, if someone yes, I, from East know, Texas... I, I, I found interesting what, um, at, the, when, at the start of the, uh, of the advocacy, the borrowing from the pension fund, which I think is a big... I don't know. It, it, I mean, it would have made sense if this was a country that would pay its debts, but it's not. And what shocked me, or did not shock me, what I found, like, typical Nigerian, is that the other chap at African Development Bank I think because the government has helped him retain his job, uh, he has come out to say that that money should be borrowed and that, in fact, every African country should do it. Very strange. I think that's additional, right? Because there's too yes. many additionals now. Okay, well, and I, now, I, I, this I, one is now becoming like the other additional uh, oh, in no. Masu Rock. I, I, I and um, the anyway. second is Ambody and rubbish and that's the rubbish collection, refuse collection. Yeah. I think Ambody was doing the right thing, actually and politics got in the way. Uh, he was fighting politics. It is not right, it, I don't think it is absolutely right to give a bunch of party people uh, the, the refuse collection jobs in a very haphazard way that yes, makes us look like we're clean, but eventually it will derail because it is not organized. And these are not people that, they were not, they were, they were trying to they were clearing things without technology and all that. If you have technological companies, maybe two, three, or four, that, that would have done the job a lot better. So perhaps really what they should have been doing was to have fought somebody on whether only one person should be taking that job, or more like four. But I, th I think he, he was doing the absolute right thing. Maybe I, I think uh, Bolao well, said he wants to borrow... But I'll say I want to borrow from that fund also. I want, I want, I want to comment on that, <laughs> on that uh, borrowing Mr. from pension fund. Mr. Because Mr. I, I can think borrow. It but has my been presented, that I will pay back. Um, in my Merchants. opinion, from a lazy perspective by the media. Now, the pension fund, the pension act, has prescribed in details what that fund can be invested in, what percentage you can invest in every segment of the defined investment opportunities. So what it means is that no matter what the governors say, if what you want them to come and invest in does not qualify under the act, there's nothing you can do. So you first of all have to uh, go Bola, back to that Bola, Bola. law. Which is assuming, why I like the parliamentary assuming, system of government. This is assuming, why I like the assuming that this is two things very yeah. instructive quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Assuming that this is a, a country where we obey laws. Nobody will be bothered whether the money is borrowed or not because it True. must be paid back. True. Right. But because it's not a country, it's a country where laws are observing breach. That is why we are bothered whether they will pay back. And in some cases, uh, where would the sector that is meant to be invested in, they will invest in another sector true. until you go to court. Very true. And the Very point true. I want to make is, this is why I prefer the parliamentary system of government. You're supposed to explain to the people what you want to do with their money. You just don't say, well, it's in the law. Then tell us what is in the law and tell us what you're doing with it. Yeah. Not just tell us that you're going into the pension trust fund. This affects me because I'm, I'm, I'm a retiree. Yeah. <laughs> so it means that what I'm looking forward to, you have already borrowed it. The people deserve the government they get to. So you retirees, don't worry. They will borrow it and never return They will it. repay it. <laughs> well, our advocacy will be incomplete without your contribution as we read through your comments on our social media platforms. My last advocacy is Nigeria working for you is certainly stirring up some conversations online. Ade Ashibieko says Nigeria is working for Northerners alone 
and some pretenders who are suffering in the South and still supporting Buhari's government. Bunch of pretenders, he said. Also, Oge Chuku Agim says, for where even our universities are not working, you can imagine because of PHCN power outage, staff can't answer the call of nature because there's no water. Nigeria is not working at all, though. Thank you, Oge Chuku and Ashebi Eko for your comments. Do continue to participate with us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, please go to plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. After the break, our very own Gwalaon is advocating for the funding of our public universities. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Nigeria is a very well-endowed country. So we're not lacking in resource. And our human resource is our strongest resource. Uh, you know, we should learn to build legacies or live life for others. But we run out of time. I have a question. What, what's your talent? What would you have been? And we have to go quickly before we run out of time. If oh you were gosh. not doing what, what did you I, want to I be? I did tap dance. Yeah. I would have just been a lover boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. True. Let up with this whole generation. You know, let's let, let that generation get away with everything. They're always right because they're older than we are. They know better, which they don't. You know, I mean, if they knew better, why would Nigeria still be in the state that it's in? It's been in their hands for however long. Religion is money in this country. Yeah. Okay. And even more so, not only is it money, it also works hand in hand or is twinned with politics. Mm -hmm. right. From the examples of how you deal with the problems of Lagos, and if you come down to Lagos, solve VI, solve Mushi, and then you can learn, and then not, you cannot solve Nigeria's problem in 2019. I am not against worshipping God, I'm not against singing to God, I'm not against any of that. But there needs to be some consideration. I mean, not everybody buys into that. Today, we are less honest, we spend all the day in church, we give all the money to the church. So even if you are a true man of God, as far as I'm concerned, you are complicit yes. in the downfall yes. of this country. If the National Assembly members were asked to swear by Amadioha and Shongo and Thank the rest, you. a lot of them will not fall. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure. But why. Don't face I, it. I, don't, I, don't I face have it. a reason for why they swear. may not do that. Right. But I will, because I will, they, I will, I will yeah, be because debated. They know, they know yeah. the consequences. I will, I will, they will I will never be sidetracked. To be honest, every sexual encounter you have means you've slept with everybody that, that person slept has with. slept with. And there are lots of viruses that don't even have any name that you know of that you will get for life and you will be transmitting this as you go along. The budget for sex in Nigeria annually, even in the world, is triple the national budget. Okay, what okay. I'm saying is yeah. we must fight to make our democracy real for us. I'll bust your bubble. There is no hope. There's no this No, no, no. I think the people that believe in these pastors then it's serious mental health mm. check. Because, you know, people might be thinking, oh, we're just, you know, uncivilized, crazy, mad people. I'm not part of you people, though. <laughs> no, I said people. <laughs> I'm waiting to say my own. No problem. That's why I'm talking now. You talk your mm -hmm. own.